This type of Hess cycle uses bond enthalpies to calculate an unknown enthalpy change. So you can imagine breaking all the bonds in the starting materials and that enthalpy change would be the enthalpy change of each of those bonds in each of the compounds in the starting materials and you'd end up with a theoretical state which would be lots of unbonded atoms. You could do the same with the products, break all the bonds of the product by adding up all the average bond strengths and you would end up with the same number and same type of unbonded atoms. So as an example, ethene and water may react to give ethanol and to work out this enthalpy change we can add up the bond strength of the C double bond C, the four CHs and the two OH bonds. So that's these values here and that would be the enthalpy change to give to the unbonded atoms of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. You can do the same on the other side. Now you've got uh, one C single bond C bond. You've got five of the CH bonds. You've got one CO and one OH bond. So slightly different bonds. And so this value here will be slightly different. To work out the uh, reaction enthalpy, then it's a matter of going up the red. So these values correspond exactly with these values. Then down the blue, and so these values, the, the, the sign has been changed. This is negative of these values, which uh, when worked out gives an overall enthalpy change of minus 46 kilojoules per mole. Note that when you're using average bond enthalpies, they are averages, not exact values for the specific molecules involved. And so this may be off by two, three, four, five kilojoules per mole, something like that.